Now we follow um, a fiscal house philosophy. So we actually, uh, when we come in and we're sitting down with you to build a financial plan that can scope to the end of your life, I like to do planning personally until age 100 for both spouses if possible. Um, you know, it, Mac, you just made a point because you said, look, you know, they don't have all of the tools. It's like, would you build, would you hire a contractor to build a house for you if they told you, just so you know, we're, we're not going to use cranes and we're not going to use you know, ladders that are over 20, you know, four feet tall because of liability reasons. We just can't use those. So your house can only be but so high. In other words, if you're hiring the architect that doesn't have every single two in their repertoire ready to go for you, yeah. then what kind of house are you building? And that's exactly his point. You know, Wall Street is totally geared towards debt and equity. That's yep. what they're geared towards. So that's bonds and stocks. And that's what they're geared towards. And there's nothing wrong with that. We love Love, love, love the market. Mm -hmm. But we also know because we do can go contrarian because we are planning for the down, you know, the, the, the rainy day and not just the sunshine mm -hmm. that we must build in risk management into every financial plan. Right. And that is not occurring at the Wall Street shops because that's not what they do. They don't right. write those vehicles. They just well, don't do it. And we know 